Hey guys, it's JC's Boomer and Journey here, and I just wanted to show you really quickly. Uh, we're working on the nursery, and I got big guy with me. He stole the remote control, and I just kicked him off my beanbag chair so I could sit down, but um, I needed to do a few things in the bedroom, or in the big room here, so I can show you what I did. So our TV fell the other night off the wall, so I made a reinforcement bracket thing. Um, it's actually pretty easy to make. It's just two pieces of wood with a third piece. This piece right here, you cut, and then you end up drawing this in the back, and then you can put your thing there, and then I just use two brackets at the bottom. So... Now we can have our TV, and it's up a little higher, and I know it's going to mess up now. So, in here, it's a disaster. He's trying to get into the food as well. But, um, sorry for the unfocused. So, here's just a quick overview of how things are going. we got some bottles up there. We have the TV mounted. We have these things up now. And we have more t bottles and, pa and diapers over there. We have diapers everywhere, uh, even in the kitchen. So we will be selling some diapers, but uh, and also we'll be I have enough diapers to go with babies too. So and this needs to get all figured out. Now I got some more room at the bottom, so I'm gonna figure all this f out. And really just going through some stuff. Most of that stuff there is going to have to end up being there. But I still got to go through some of that. Um, and I have a lot of blankets. <laughs> I have more blankets than I can trick a stick at for the kids. So we are just working on some projects and going through some stuff. And hopefully we can, you know, get things back to normal a little bit because I miss you guys what I can say is that I finally got most of the stuff off the babies or out of the crib so we can see the babies again and everybody needs to be a bath and changed and stuff so we do have another little baby coming um, but the baby's not painted um, I'm probably just going to just do a box opening just to show you what kit it is and all that stuff. And I have a really nice artist who is going to paint my silicone baby. I've had her paint a couple of my miniature silicone babies and absolutely love her work. So I really want to try. Um, and then this one's just gorgeous. Gorgeous little, just love her. And barely had any time to play with her or anything. So I'm really hoping I can make her some clothes and different things like that um she's so cute and i have some new projects in the works for my etsy shop i'm really hoping that it will sell um, i'm gonna do a couple of different things i can tell you one thing about these things that i'm talking about um, i'm trying to focus a lot on um like hospital equipment and supplies and stuff like that so what I'm trying to do is get nice sets together. Um, so I'm actually trying to create a couple of different sizes for a couple of different size babies. Um, and some, you know, I'm going to sell things together in a lot with, I, I can't really tell you what it is because that will give it away. But um, I'm going to have where it's just some hospital supplies and some lots and then there's going to be like, sets that are specifically for something um, that has like every single thing that you can think of and might be a little bit more money but it would definitely be worth it and there's some more things I need to get because um, some of the things I'm making is going to be out of wood and I need you know like a staple gun I need a saw stuff like that but I'm really excited I'm really hoping we'll sell what I really try to do is think of things I would like for the babies and hopefully by me creating what I would like for the babies it creates things for other people so this particular thing would be a custom order only um, I'm gonna make them I'm gonna design them I will put it up and it will be um, custom order like um, you know I, I will only make it when somebody buys it 
So it's going to be quite unique. I'm really excited. I have a lot of other ideas that I'm trying to... The hard part is not having money to do your ideas. So that's the biggest challenge I find. But isn't she just so cute? She's so cuddly too. I don't think, don't think I forgot my other baby. I do have my other baby. This is actually all her baby shower presents that we haven't gotten to yet. So I'm really hoping we can do a baby shower at some point. Um, just bear with me guys. Dennis doesn't like me tucking in the house. He doesn't like me um, not showing him attention. But at the same time he doesn't want me to be around him. Um, I can't talk on the phone to anybody. I mean, it's just been really quite difficult for, I think, both of us um, because it's not fair to have lack of communication with the outside world, but at the same token, I'm trying to respect his wishes. Um, you know, I have my whole life ahead of me, so um, I need to respect what he wants right now um, to make him happy. And I think that's one of the other reasons why I've had a lot of lack of videos. I've been so busy. I can't keep up with myself. But I'm really hoping that once I finish getting this whole entire room together, which as you can see is still quite a disaster, we're getting there. <laughs> so once I get this up, you know, get this place together and stuff and figure out what I want to do, um, I'm definitely going to start doing more videos. Um, at least try and do one a week give me a chance guys because I definitely want to edit my videos and stuff like that but right now I just don't have the time to even figure out how to do that and I don't want to continue having lack of videos anymore so I'm going to do my best and I'm hoping that I can have somebody come into my home to teach me a little better just because I have learning disabilities so it makes it harder for me than a normal person to figure these things out. Most people can figure it out in an hour. It will take me days to do. So, um, so it takes me a lot more time than normal people. So, you know, people that don't have learning disabilities. So that's really it, guys. That's all the time I have. I'm going to get back to work. Um, I just wanted to show you that this little guy was out. He's going to get changed. I want to try something with him. Um, I'm not happy how his head stays on, so I found something that might work, and I really would love to sell these type of dolls, but don't feel comfortable unless I know that the head can stay on. So I'm really hoping that works for me. Um, I know now from him, I know that there's certain things that I did incorrectly. Um, I'm not talking about the painting, more about how you weigh, weigh them. And um, I know what to do and what not to do in the future. Um, you don't want to weigh their arms too much. Because um, then it's just too, you know, they're too heavy to lift. Um, but you also don't want to break them either. So in the future, with future babies, um, I, I definitely want to try and get another kit of this later this year or at some point this year. Um, I also want to get a 26-inch baby. So these babies right here are um 28 inches so they're kind of big they're kind of like in that 2t stage and i'm really looking for a baby that can take like 12 to 18 months again um i had a couple of toddlers if you guys know if you guys have been with me for a really long time i had one named jesse and then i had another one named Jaden, and i really really liked the boy toddlers so i got these two toddlers which i absolutely love they're just the wrong size. Um, I would love to have more toddlers. So um, I'm going to try and get a couple more toddler kits. Um, I do like the babies. But I actually got to be honest with you. For reborns, I'm more into the toddlers and five-year-olds. Um, it's just because you can't get that in silicone. So I like the silicone as babies and miniature babies. And I have to say, I mean... I can't seem to get to to give these two little guys up because they're really cute. And I definitely like this little guy. And then I definitely like this one and this one. And I'm not sure yet about her. She's going to have to just get put together and I'll have to see how she looks. And this little guy I really like too. 
Now, Jayla right here, I'm not sure about her. I think it's time to try and sell her. Um, I love her hair, but um, I just feel that with all the babies, and I have never been able to be completely happy with her, I think it might be better for her to find a home that someone can love her. So, she is so cute. I really love her. I love her face, and every time I cuddle with her, I'm like, I can't get rid of you. What am I talking about? So that's why she's been here for so long, but it might be time. I mean, because in the five years I think I've had her, I think I might have played with her for the first couple of months I've had her and never was happy with her body and all that stuff. So, you know, I, I think I notice I, I play with my silicone babies more than I play with my reborns, but... When they're toddlers and and five-year-olds, I tend to play with them more. So, it might be time to get rid of a few of my smaller uh, reborns. Hey, little man. Daddy likes you. You're not going anywhere. Say hi. Can't you see his dirt? Uh. <sighs> you know what it was? I did these uh, holes up there. So, they ended up getting dust on the babies. So... They need a bath. That's how that works. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I haven't quite decided. I have another pair of eyes for this little guy, which I might use instead. They're darker. I can't even reposition his head. There we go. So these are actually cheap, cheap eyes. And I have um, glass German eyes for him. So, if I can put them in there, I might do that. But if anybody knows how to glue glass German eyes, that would be helpful because I've never done it before. The ones I have are round, even though those are half. So, I, I know I have to cut the out the, the inside to put them in. And if anybody has any tricks to the trade, I would appreciate any help you can do. And I definitely want to root eyelashes in them, so I need to practice. Um, what actually might be helpful is practicing on, like, these little babies that I already have done. You want some eyelashes? <laughs> I would love to do eyebrows, too, as well. I feel like eyebrows should be um, done and eyelashes should be rooted. Nose should be open. But those are just my likes. Not everybody is like me. So. And that's really it guys. And here's his sister in the background. So I'm really excited. I really want to uh, paint them and root them. And everything like that. I'm still trying to figure out about hair for them right now. Um, I might have to go with the cheaper hair. Just because. Um, hair right now is so expensive. And I just really don't have the money for it. So. But. Yeah, I mean, his hair wasn't that expensive, and his hair looks good. I might just get a couple of different colors for them. So, I really just don't know yet. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You say bye-bye. So, this is Javian, if anybody doesn't know his name. His name is Javian. Say bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Thanks, guys.